Hello models, I'm Jensen and welcome back to Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. I'm still looking around for lore, I don't know what that does, I think it opens something given the words that are written on it. There's a bunch of stuffed animals still around here. There's again a cry for help right there. Just tried to grab the help and it did not work. Uh, looks like we probably have to like jam both of these down at once, right? Oh, there's a, there's an invisible wall there, that's annoying. Why is Joy written on the wall here? It's just weird. Oh, Playtime's got a new park. Wonderful, they're branching out. What better place to source yourselves the souls of dead children than a rickety park? Okay, we're gonna get on this thing, see what... Don't like this. There's a backpack here. Don't like that either! Wait, did we just beat the level? Alright, good. It's a newspaper we can't grab, and we are moving! Oh no! Hello! Hello? My name... Elliot Ludwig. Hi Elliot, I'm Jensen. you look around at the world today, what one thing do you think it needs more? Calcium. I asked around once. Money. I never have enough. Understanding. I can never get any. Faith. The common man has lost it. Subscribers. The was different. And I could perhaps see some little truth in each. But I think each was also missing something. Yeah, face. Something simple. Oh, is he gonna say a soul? Not one of them could muster a smile. What the hell is that? Who the hell could muster a smile in this? A smile is love. A smile is understanding. I found your drug tank. There's nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. For it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid. One where they are protected. After all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile. They deserve to love. And they deserve a safe home. I think I just that consumed some of the drugs. It is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co, I announce... Playcare! Our very own on-site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's smile. It's teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in you. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile? Whoa. Okay, we just had a bunch of things confirmed from the previous chapters of, uh, of playing this. Number one, oh great, the phone's ringing again. Number one is that children have been brought here under the guise of being orphans. Ollie. Hello? Cool Hi, Ollie. place, right? The kids used to live here. Yeah, I know, it happened now to them too. It. Anyways, do you see that statue in the middle of the room? Take the stairs that go under it. There's a really cool room in there that powers literally all of play care. I can give you a key down there. Okay, thanks, Ollie. Whatever you are. So, here's the thing, right? But Playtime Co. was basically taking in orphans and then murdering them and stuffing their souls into the dolls, the, the, the soul dolls, to make them a little bit more realistic than their competitors. And obviously, it was so effective that they could afford this. So what we're actually looking at right here is a front. We are looking at a front. So behind the scenes, they're, they're doing the murder and, and stuffing into the suits, but on the surface here, and you can take a tour of it if you tour the factory, obviously, on that big rail that they installed, for the sole purpose of, you know, laundering morals, I suppose. <laughs> you come here, you see all the orphans of uh, very, very nice facilities, and what you walk away with is the kind of thought that, yeah, the orphans are being taken care of. But what's actually happening is every time someone comes down here, there are different orphans in this area, and they're kind of on their way to being scooped. Five Nights at Freddy's scooped. Hate that house. Okay, let's go underneath this building. 
Kind, caring soul, Bobby Bear Hug shows compassion for everyone and for everything, people and places and things, large or small. Are all receivers of her love. Each is enriched by this attention and affection and so in turn, so is she. Let's press it. Hi, I'm Bobby Bear Hug. Hi, Bobby. I've got a pretty good idea. Hi, I'm Bobby Bear Hug. Wanna know how much I love you? You never met me. Hi, I'm Bobby Bear Hug. Wanna know how much I love you? It's gonna change. Hi. Okay, well, I'm pretty confident we're not going to get any, like, secret voice lines out of that unless it's randomly generated, which, if it is, I'm not prepared to sit here for an hour while it, it tries to find the law voice line. Ah, this is significantly darker than what's out here. Okay. Just We've got a phone call. Under the statue. I am under the statue. Hello? It's I, Yinsen. What the hell is this? Dr. Seuss? Are you in there? No? Maybe he's uh, fighting heffalumps or something. Okay, we've got a a very generous sized, oh, I thought it was a cage. Okay, what's in this? That's a key. Thank you. Into the gas production zone. So, so the gas is- got the key. Now the question you're probably asking yourself is, where does it go? Well, yep. head back out and you should find a door just to the left of the cable car you took down here. I am also looking for collectibles in the form of televisions or VCRs, which I will play. So yeah, the gas. The gas is, the sole purpose of the gas, I think, is to abduct children from their homes and thus making them an orphan. You can basically falsify the paperwork, I imagine. Because it seems like one of those 1990s toy companies and they could probably get away with falsifying their records. Where are we supposed to be going? You said go up, right? Well, that looks pretty obvious. I bet it's in there. There's a gigantic illuminated door just up here, which I completely missed. What's in here? Hello? Jensen has entered the back rooms. You hear that YouTube algorithm? Back rooms. Okay, that was a strange transition. I was expecting there to be something in between, but I suppose the days of waiting for a loading screen are virtually over. Uh, there's that weird, I think it was a, like, bee cat or something like that. Cat bee? Watch your step! Whoa. Always remain aware of your surroundings. Falls may be lethal. Right, thanks for letting us know. Don't forget your mask! Always wear a gas mask wherever the red smoke is present. Right, okay. So they're also developing narcotics. Holy Welcome hell, this is big. The gas production zone. The beating heart of the whole evil play care system. All that gas you see coming from the machine is made right here in the factory. It's called the Red Smoke. Right now, it's all headed off to the right. We need to make that Red Smoke go left instead. That's how we can get to him. The machine will probably have a few dumb safeguards for you to work around, but I think you can do it. I'll call you once it's done. Okay, find a way to divert the gas. How about we just fart? How about we just fart into the chamber of it really, really hard? Can we jump this? No. What if we get on top of something? Can we jump this? No. Invisible wall. Okay, what's through? Why is this place so big? It's enormous! Uh, there is a battery right here. And we can just take it. It's good to know. Probably should put it in that one over there. I did see this little lore dump pout out right here. So we'll listen to this a bit. Right, that definitely sounds like a man in a gas mask. All I hear is sleeping. Thank you for that unhelpful, uh, dialogue line. What is this? Lever? No, we can't use it yet. Okay, let's go up here, or not. Uh, let's see what this thing is. It looks big enough to crush us. So we'll stand under it for a little bit. It doesn't appear to be anything useful off in these directions here. 
There is somewhere we can go just over here, though. Or through here. A brick wall. And an invisible wall. Great. Can we open these? Absolutely not. How dare I even think that I could. Do not enter. Okay. Well, I'm sold. Uh, there appears to be a ladder up here. We could probably reach it. We could probably jump onto it. Okay. Oh, uh, this is a VCR player. So there must be a VCR around the place, right? Wait a minute. Where's the... Where's the actual VCR? And do we need a mask? I think we might need a mask. Okay, let's do the obvious path first. Oops, threw that on the ground. Didn't mean to do that. So we haven't seen this side yet, have we? Let's jam this bad boy into that socket. Boop. Why is that purple? Weird. What is that, like blue and red maybe? Blue and red make purple? Hey, a VCR! What the hell is that? That's either a map or a broken screen. I can't quite tell. Ah, there's the tape. And there's a Huggy Wuggy looking at me. We do have an inventory! Okay, do we have... No, we don't actually have any collectibles that we can take. Let's see what's on here. Is it a tutorial for a gas mask? Nope, it's a tutorial for the grab pack we are already using, which will fire further. Absolutely phenomenal. I love that. Swapping hands is easy. <laughs> I don't know what I expected from that. The prototype has ear jets. What? To break long falls. Oh no. Oh no. This is going to turn into a Minecraft dropper. But watch where you land! Well, don't want to be like that guy. Okay, that's it. I was expecting a single frame of, ooh, of lore, but we got none. Nice! We've upgraded our grab pack with something a, a little bit more amiable, I suppose, you could say. So, how does this work? Oh, I see! That's weird! Ow! Oh. Okay. I don't know how to use the, uh, the jetpack feature, but I'm sure I'll figure it out at a moment's notice. Okay, we've ended up in another gigantic, monstrous warehouse room. There is, of course, blood all over the floor. Delightful. Very nice feng shui. Very, very liquid. An application. We'll come down here, despite our best intents. Okay, this is going to be a jump. Do we need to do it, though? What are we doing up here? Are we just having a look around? We may actually be just having a look around. Okay, so what's in here? It's the same direction. That just loops. Good to know! Okay, awesome. What's up here? Still looking around. Don't really see a whole lot. Behind us. Anything? No, it doesn't look like it. Just a really, really big view. Boop! Okay, we made it. We made it even though we had our backs up against the wall. Anything in there? Nope, not immediately. Boop! Oh, that's drugs! We don't want to fall in the drugs, because I'm pretty sure we'll fall into a, um, a permanent sleep. Of some sort. I mean, how would I know? Uh, we're kind of stuck here, actually. This isn't good. No, we're not. There is a what's -a doodle right there to grab. We'll pull this over, of course. And now what? And now what do we do with this? Uh. Nope, we just fell in the drugs. Okay, game. Okay, we should get some lore on this death screen. Or not. Okay, cool. So if we grab this. Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Damn, that launches us far. Are we supposed to get on? I think we're supposed to go over here. And then we pull this slightly further this way. Good. And then we jump on this. Whoop, that was close. I almost just bit the dust again. And then we leap over here. 
Nice. There's some fragile things under this tarp. Oh, toxic gas is in that bottle. How cash money of them to tell us? Can we pull this further over? Yes, we can. Good. All right, so we probably now need to leap up and over that grate, right? Excellent. No. Great. Okay, we'll come up here. This is that room that we didn't have access to before. It is actually enormous as well. Like a huge room. Good grief. How are we supposed to do this? And okay, that's how we jump over. Okie dokie. So that's obviously the target. There's two of these little grab panels here. I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to be using them though. This one, I think... Whoops. It's got to be pointed there, right? I think so. I think that that's the way because as soon as we hit this... Or not. How does this work again? Yeah, I think that that is going to hit over there. It does. Good. So that means that we need to shoot something off into this. So we actually need the origin. We, we need the, the primary... Where the hell is it? There's supposed to be like a power source around here and I just don't see it. All I see is a bunch of garbage. Okay, so we'll jump back over. Aha! I think that maybe we have to go up and over. What if we try and like bounce ourselves up on top of this thing? Oh, that gives us a pretty good sideline actually. What if we pop that through there? Nothing. Uh, how about through here? Oh, I think that's powered one of the things, hasn't it? Or maybe not. So we've got power now. Okay. Oh, what if we uh, try and angle this like that? And then we flick our hand down at this little wang doodle right there. Boom, boom, boom. Do we get it? I got a little sound. Hey, nice. Wonderful, we solved one. We jump on top of this, and we power up our hand, and then we fire the other one here, so it goes all the way over there. No, so that's actually gonna take a little bit more. So what if we point this at that one, and then we fire this hand there, so it goes all the way over there, and boom! Puzzle solved! That feels really good, actually. Is that everything? There's one... Oh, we've got power! At least on the main consoles of this room. Okay, that was close. We almost fell in the drink. No signal, though. I don't know what that means, other than that we have, obviously, no signal. Ah, we've opened the door. Excellent. So, I think we're at a pretty good place to end it. So, thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you can find the playlist for Poppy Playtime. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. And, of course, just over there and over there are subscribe buttons. If you're not already subscribed, then consider it. And go down to the Discord. Go down to the description of this video. You'll find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me personally. And I'm pretty active on there. And until I make the next episode, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!